Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Introduction to GEdit Text Editor. In this tutorial, we will learn about GEdit Text Editor, installation of GEdit in Ubuntu Linux and Windows Operating System. We will also learn how to create a new file, open, save and close an existing file. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 Operating System gedit 3.4.1 to follow this tutorial you should have working knowledge of any operating system first we will see how to install gedit text editor you can find instructions on how to install gedit text editor on windows by visiting the link shown gedit text editor is pre-installed in ubuntu linux operating system it can be installed on Ubuntu Linux using Ubuntu Software Center. For more details on Ubuntu Software Center, refer to the Linux Spoken Tutorials on our website. Gedit Text Editor is already pre-installed in my system. Now, let us open Gedit Text Editor. Click Dash Home on the top left corner of the computer desktop. In the search box, type Gedit. The text editor icon appears. Click on it. This will open a new gedit text editor window. Alternately, you can open gedit text editor using the terminal. I will close this window now. To open a terminal, press the Ctrl Alt T keys together. Type gedit and press enter. A new gedit text editor window opens. The topmost bar with all the menus is called the menu bar. Next is the toolbar which contains the most commonly used menus in icon form. The display area is where all activities such as typing, editing takes place. You can see a tab named Untitled Document 1. This is the default name given by gedit text editor to the newly opened document. In the text area, let us type Welcome to Spoken Tutorial. Below this, we will type some more text as shown here. Now, in the tab, you can see a asterisk next to the name of the file. This means that the file is not yet saved. The bottom bar is a status bar which displays information about the current activity. The status bar displays the cursor position with respect to line number and column number. It also displays whether the mode is overwrite or insert. By default, it is in INS that is insert mode. We will learn about the other two later on. Now, let us see how to save the file. For this, click on the file option in the menu bar and then on save. The save dialog box opens up. I will type the file name as students.txt. Choose the destination where you want to save the file. I will select desktop. Click on the save button. Notice that the saved file name is now displayed in the tab. Also, notice that the asterisk has disappeared. Now let us close this file. Click file in the menu bar and select close. We can insert new files into the window by clicking file and new. Alternately, you can click the icon in the toolbar with plus sign. Now let us see how to open an existing document. Click file in the menu bar and select open. Select the file student.txt from the desktop folder where we had saved the file previously. Click on the open button. Now we will add few more student details. It is a good practice to save the file frequently. This avoids loss of data if there is a power cut or system crash. 
Auto save option can be used to save a file automatically in a specified time interval. Let us see how to use the auto save option. Click edit in the menu bar, then click preferences. Gedit preferences dialog box appears. Click the editor tab at the top of the window. Under the file saving option, check the auto save files checkbox. And in the minutes box, enter 2. Click on close. Now, our files will get auto saved after every 2 minutes. You can continue with your typing as it saves automatically. Otherwise, you can click on the icon in the toolbar with down arrow to save the changes. Lastly, to exit the gedit text editor window, click on file and quit. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about installation of gedit in Ubuntu Linux and Windows operating system. We also learned how to create a new file, open, save, close an existing file and quit gedit text editor. Do the following assignment. Open a new window in gedit text editor. Type an invitation letter. Save it as invitation.txt. Now close the file. Open the same file and make some changes. Use save as option to save the file and give invitation1.txt as file name. Note the changes in the contents of the files invitation.txt and invitation1.txt. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use this discussion as instructional material. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.